CPU versus GPU. NVIDIA and ATI make GPUs, graphics processor units, and Intel and AMD make CPUs, central processing units. And in a lot of ways, they're very similar technologies. They're both printed circuit boards that run at high clock speeds and have amazing computational abilities. The difference between the two is really in the types of computations that they're designed to do. GPUs are optimized exclusively for doing polygon transformations, which are all floating point unit type processor processing and very heavy in trigonometry type things. So they're very fast at calculating cosine, sine, tangent, and other triangle related math, along with some of the image processing stuff for doing anti-aliasing and graphics functions. CPUs are optimized for running your Windows or your Mac or the core calculations that are used in drawing windows and the types of calculations that are used in the basic math that happens in office productivity software. So they do are very fast at what's called integer calculations. And integer calculations are probably about 75% of the calculations that happen in your regular operating system just as you're running Word and surfing the internet and doing those kinds of things. And then they also have a floating point unit processor that handles some of those more challenging math problems that result from playing back video and those kinds of things. There used to be a greater separation between what a CPU and a GPU did. Back in the days of 3DFX, processors in the CPU, like your 486 and your early Pentiums were really optimized for those integer problems and were very fast at them. And 3DFX was one of the first onboard GPUs that would allow you to do these complex polygon and 3D calculations. But as video has started to become more and more a part of the way we do things, CPUs are now starting to have a whole bunch of GPU-like functions built in. So they have 3D acceleration and H.264 acceleration and all these kinds of things to handle discrete cosine transforms and other math that's related to doing video compression. So CPU and GPU is starting to blur a little bit, but the real difference is that specialization and the sets of instructions that they have that are optimized for the types of work that they're going to do. That's the reason that GPUs are often used for accelerating your processing of video compression, but CPUs now have more of those instruction sets for them. So you have to have the right tool for the right job, and both of them have just kind of specialized in building processors that are optimized for the kinds of things that they're going to be doing.